Syracuse University Peace Officer Stan Prue and Senior Detective Ed Weber were patrolling an overflow parking lot on Skytop Road, one of the highest points on campus, when the storms rolled through last night. During a break in the thunderstorm, police officer Prue made a pivotal decision to step out of the car to stretch his legs, leaving his partner in the passenger seat. What Weber described was uh, hearing a bang uh, and not, not any flash of light, but hearing the bang um, and, and then being dazed for a second and looking over and, and seeing that Stan was just gone. Um, and, uh, you know, his first thought was that perhaps um, he'd been shot. But it wasn't gunfire. Officer Prue had been struck by lightning. As he put his uh, left foot onto the ground, um, it, it appears that lightning um, struck the vehicle um, and struck him. Detective Weber was stunned by the strike and quickly called for backup. The heat from the lightning actually melted the paint on their vehicle and then Officer Prue flew backwards where he was found by his fellow officer behind their squad car. Most folks never think about but you know law enforcement officers, firefighters, EMS workers, um, you know when when bad things are happening like bad weather they're in the thick of it um, and, and they're going to be responding to calls for service and, and protecting life and uh, um, you know, this is one of those circumstances where, you know, where you never knew it was going to happen, but, uh, you know, but it's a wake-up call for everybody. Detective Weber was treated and released from the hospital earlier this morning. Officer Prue is still being treated in the burn unit at Upstate Hospital, but is expected to make a full recovery. Reporting from Syracuse University, I'm Kelly Cowan.